the inspiration for the piece I created was to find some music to celebrate the 250th anniversary of Beethoven's birth that we'll be celebrating next year in 2020. Once I've chosen a piece of music, I like to research what was the composer influenced by when creating that piece. I read a lot about the piece and I also read a lot of the reactions when the piece was first performed. One of the critics described the last movement of the sonata as the most unbridled in its representation of emotion. And that really resonated with how I felt uh, when listening to the music. So I chose to sort of draw that quality in the dancing out of the music. The piece is mostly abstract. It's really about my response to the music, how the music makes me feel and, and how it makes me want to move. There's something a little bit selfish about my creative process because as a choreographer, you tend to choreograph things that you, you want to watch and you would like, as a dancer as well, things that you would like to dance yourself. And you just hope that the audience will feel the same about your ideas. The opportunity to create new work, to be in the studio with well-trained dancers is really invaluable in the process of um, anyone's choreographic journey. I have found over the years that with each work I create, I get to know myself better and I know more about who I am and what I like and what I want to say with my work. So, I'm incredibly uh, grateful to the opportunity to create anything ever and especially with New English Ballet Theatre.